Today we're going to be looking at this block diagram and we are going to represent its transfer function using MATLAB. As you know, transfer function is output divided by input, so it would be CS divided by RS. And I've labeled each one with G1, G2, each one, each individual block as its own transfer function so that we can type these into MATLAB. So how we are going to do is first we are going to enter the transfer functions of the individual blocks. So G1 over here, as I've labeled it, would be the transfer function of 1, which is here is the numerator, comma, and then now we are going to write it as 1, 0, 0, because it's S squared. There's no S and there's no constant. So the other two variables there will be zeros, and we save that. Next, we are going to write this, so we can write this the same way as this, or we can also write it as numerator 2 equals 50, and also we can write denominator 2 equals, and then 1, 1, which is just s plus 1, so we can save that, and then when we write g2, it would be the transfer function of the numerator divided by the denominator. Now we are going to write G3, which is a transfer function. For G3, we have a numerator of 2, and then we have denominator of S, which would just be 1, 0. Now for G4, again, transfer function, we have an S. So it would just be 1, 0, comma, and since the denominator is just the 1, we can put 1 there. And then G5 again, transfer function. Since it's just a constant, we can write 2 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator. So now that we have all those, we can type them all out to confirm that we inputted everything correctly. So as we scroll up, we have 1 over s squared, 50 over s plus 1, 2 over s, s, and 2. So now that we have all those and we confirm they are correct, what we are going to do is block reduction. So we see that g4 and g5 are in parallel, and you'll see that the arrows are pointing the same direction. So this is technically not in feedback. Feedback would need to be like this one right here. So this block G3 is in feedback with G2, but this one is just in parallel. So how we're going to write that in MATLAB is we're just going to assign it system1 equals parallel G4 and then negative G5. As you can see, there's a negative here. So that's how we know that. So then we are going to write sys2, which, like I said, is in feedback. So it's g2 and g3. Now we can just say that system4 is in. So now that we have these two combined and these two combined, we'll notice that they are now in series. So that's how we are going to go write this next one is series and it would be system one and system two. So system one and system two would be in series. Now that those are in series, we know that system four would be all these combined into one block and that would be in series with G1. So how we are going to write this is system five equals series System 4 and G1. And then we can see what System 5 is. And it is this continuous time transfer function. Now we can write final system equals. Now, since you can see this feedback right here, so that is in feedback of our, our system 5 and our 1 
which is just this right here. And to get our final answer, we can just say that it's the minimum real of the final system. So as you can see, the 50s minus 100 over s cubed plus s squared plus 150s minus 100 is our final answer. If you would do this by hand, you'll see that you get the same answer.